Hi, my name is Nick and today we're talking about the newsletters for your CBD business and why it is essential to have one. We all know that there's a struggle in the CBD marketing at the moment, so you need to take any opportunity to get your brand known. And newsletters are the great way to do that and get closer to your customers. So today I'm going to answer the questions. What is newsletter? Why it is important to have one? and give some helpful tips on optimizing and setting up the newsletter as well. So let's start with the question what newsletter is. Most of you are probably familiar uh, with the newsletters. It's pretty much a series of emails that you uh, get from time to time in your inbox. They are usually sent uh, to the list of people who are opting in uh, to the newsletter itself. So they could contain news announcements, event announcements, coupons or, you know, just blog posts uh, from the brand that you subscribed for. There are even companies who are actually full-scale businesses based on newsletter, like Morning Brew, for example. But we're not going to talk about them much today. Newsletters has two important parameters to know about when you're doing marketing for them. So those are uh, open rate and click-through rate. Open rate is pretty much uh, quantity of uh, people who opened the email itself. And the second one is the quantity of people who did some action, basically clicked on call to action in the email itself. So why it is important to have a newsletter for a CBD company? First of all, it's a channel that you own. As we all know, cannabis and CBD companies facing a lot of roadblocks at the moment in terms of channel when they can present their products or, you know, market their brand. So newsletter is a channel that is completely yours. Even if you host it on some third party service and, you know, if you get banned uh, anyway, you can just uh, move to another service and continue there. Another reason is newsletters are really cost effective. Many marketers say that uh, newsletters and emails are their biggest uh, source of return of investments. You know, you can send just uh, weekly updates or posts from your blog and uh, that will be enough. I will tell you about uh, platforms a bit uh, later, but most of them are 15% a month, which is a really good price. Besides that, it's a really great uh, way to engage with your audience because pretty much everybody reads the emails. It is known by statistics that millennials are the core audience of uh, CBD and cannabis at the moment and they prefer to communicate via emails. So you're just missing out on the great channel if you don't use newsletters. Even if the content is nothing special, you just remind them that you exist, you know, and uh, you keep the contact with uh, your customers. So let's move to some tips and uh, tools of optimizing and using your newsletter. First one is uh, that it is recommended to use double opt-in to prevent spam and uh, false registrations. Double opt-in will send the email for your subscriber immediately and will ask to confirm it. The point of it is uh, that it will make your list much cleaner and uh, it will increase your open rate and click-through rate. And people who actually want uh, your content will be on the list this way. The other side of a single opt-in is that your uh, newsletter will grow much faster, but uh, this way your open rate will gonna suffer. Another tip is uh, don't ask people for too much information. So it is preferred to ask only for email uh, to increase your chances of registration. But uh, sometimes uh, companies ask for a first name, last name and even the phone number. You know, you will increase open rates if you personalize your uh, email. But uh, in general, the more information you ask, the fewer people will register. So in this case, decision is yours uh, what is more important for you. Next advice is that you need to keep your uh, opt-in form clean and uh, make it obvious on the web page where to find it. Also, it should be clean for the customer what uh, will be gained from this uh, newsletter, so it's better to include it in to, into your uh, call to action as well. Another important uh, advice is that all your emails should have unsubscribe button, because if uh, you don't have it, then chances are great that uh, people will click on spam, and that's uh, the worst thing that uh, could happen to your newsletter. And uh, 
like currently most of the services uh, do it by default like includes uh, unsubscribe button to uh, the bottom of your newsletter email another trick if you are afraid uh, for your domain is uh, try to use subdomains and uh, this way if uh, even if uh, something uh, will happen to your primary domain then uh, your main domain will still be clean but if you're doing everything by the book then you should be all right and you should not uh, worry about this and the last tip is uh, keep your uh, posting schedule consistent Email inboxes are usually cluttered, so if anybody lets you occupy their space in the inbox, then it's usually a big deal. So uh, just make sure that they know what they expect. Now let's go over some tools to make the process easier for you. There are several uh, big players you can try out. Among them is MailChimp, Active Campaign, Constant Contact, Campaign Monitor and uh, HubSpot. MailChimp is probably the most comprehensive one to build a newsletter. But they explicitly told that CBD companies should not use their service. And uh, if uh, they will do it, then they will be banned. So use this uh, service with uh, caution. That it is for now. And uh, please uh, click uh, like and subscribe to our channel if you want to get uh, more tips and tricks on CBD marketing in the future. Thank you for watching.